Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taman here. You know, today I want to ask a question that I get quite often, and that is about what type of extensions should you use on your Joomla website? Now, extensions allow you to be able to do more on your Joomla website. When you first get started with Joomla, one of the things that you're going to realize is that if you want to add more functionalities, more features, you're going to need extensions, but there are thousands of extensions out there. Which ones should you focus on, especially as a beginner? Now, this is a challenge that I face for a long time when I started because I looked there and I saw so many extensions I got too excited I was installing just about everything the good thing about that is I had the opportunity to try so many extensions the problem became that uh, the extensions started to clash when you have too much it slows your site down and it causes a lot more problems so in this video I want to help you especially for my beginners out there what are the extensions that I use that I would recommend for you to use on your Joomla websites these are extensions that I've used extensively and I use on a daily basis or pretty much for any projects that I'm working whether it's for myself or for a client so let's jump into it before we get started, I just want to reiterate something that I said before, and that is this is based on my professional and my personal workflow. You know, when you're creating websites with Joomla, everyone has their workflow and use what they think is best for their clients and their projects. So this is what I typically do. So when I start on a project, the first thing that I do is to choose my framework. And the framework that I love and use on just about every project is the Helix Ultimate. Now, there's so many different Joomla frameworks out there um, that you can use the T4, uh, the Helium, uh, and so many other ones out there. But I found out that this one here for me is what really works, especially if you are a beginner, okay? The Helix and the T4 are some of the simplest uh, frameworks out there that you can use as a beginner or a pro. And I love the flexibility for this one. So what you can do is you can check it out, uh, joomshaper.com, and you can check out the Helix. And it gives you all the different things that you can see here, real optimized. Um, you can write your blogs. Uh, everything is really simple and very easy to use. One of the reasons why I love this because of the simplicity of it. And it gives you so much more you can do in terms of customizing. So when you want to customize something, it really works great. So you check out some of the features here and it's just beautiful. So if you're starting a project and you don't know what framework to use, I highly recommend that you start it with the Helix and you're going to fall in love with it. I guarantee you that. And also you integrate SP Page Builder with it, make things a whole lot more. But I have extensive video that covers Helix from start to finish, top to bottom, shows you everything that you need to know how to use it. Uh, really beautiful whether you are a professional and you want to use custom code or you're a beginner you want to use drag and drop social share um, error pages you can customize your own error pages which is really really cool to do um, but it gives you so much more so this is definitely my first starting point okay so I have a project first thing that I do is I choose my framework so now I got the framework out the way the next thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that my site is backed up because there's nothing more painful than you working on a site and then you realize that you made some changes or you did something and it's not backed up. So Akiba Backup, they have two versions. You have the basic, the core, and you have the professional. If you're getting started, if you just want to get something backed up, your site backed up, you don't have like a very, like a large, large site, even if you do, the core will work just fine and the core comes with you can go to your Joomla back end and you can download it and I'm sure you can install it absolutely free. So the core gets you everything that you need to do to get going. Now, why is backups important? I've seen so many people, so many clients that I've, have come to me and said, Matthew, I started working on my site and I accidentally deleted something this far. I don't know what I did. What do I do? The first question that I ask them is, did you make a backup before you started anything? I always tell people this, if you're going to work on your site, number one thing, make a backup, make a backup. When you look at our developers website, the first thing they tell you before upgrading, updating, making any changes is make a backup of your site. So in case you have to make go back, you can always go back. Now they have a one click backup and it's very simple with the professional, you can automatically just click the backup from your dashboard 
Uh, so these are the, the features here, the main difference between uh, the free and the pro. And as you can see here, the pro gets you, I mean, the basic uh, core head gets you everything you need. Mine is uh, Amazon S3 support. So if you back up your stuff in the clouds like S3, then you might want to get the pro. Uh, and a few other things here too. But if you're looking to just to get started, you want to get something going, then you definitely need to have the core. It's, it's more than enough. Okay, so the next one again from the same company that I recommend is Admin Tools. Admin Tools is a security extension that makes sure that your site is secure from, you know, from hackers and people trying to, you know, do crazy stuff to your site. Now, let me be clear and say this. You know, from my experience, no website is hack proof. In other words, there's so many things that you layers of um, things that people can get access to. Right. You want to make sure that by the time that they get to the core of your stuff, you're, you've been able to find out and make whatever changes, because even the U.S. government websites get hacked. I mean, think about it. even security websites that make this antivirus stuff get hacked. So there are several security measures that you need to take to make sure. But admin tools definitely gives you a solid, you know, protection, especially with the pro. And you can kind of read through some of the ones here. And I've also covered uh, how you can be able to install it and do some of the basic integrations with your Joomla site. So these are uh, the, t the the features that come with it for the pro and, you know, the, the basic one. So once again, if you just want to get up and going, then you need to get to free. But for long term, I really encourage you. I really recommend that you get the pro version. So another one that I definitely use quite often is the Balboa forms. I had a conversation with uh, a student uh, not too long ago. They wanted to know, you know, I want to process orders on my website. I want to create forms, but I don't want something complex. I want it very simple. What do you recommend? Well, the Balboa forms, in my opinion, you know, this is the best Joomla forms out there. I love how clean it is, the simplicity of it. I've been using it for a very long time. Now, matter of fact, when it first started, I've been using it ever since then. The form gives you everything that you need to do and how the interface is, as you can see from here, is really, really beautiful. You know, um, I, I love how it is. I love how clean it is. You can be able to create different types of forms. You can be able to accept orders online. You know, for example, like with my Learn Joomla Fast, my training programs that I do, this is the form that I use to bill for people to sign up. I'm easy to, easily able to process payments with whether it's with Stripe, with PayPal, or any other payment forms that you use. And they use what's called conditional logic. Conditional logic is really awesome because I'm sure that you've been to certain websites that when you select something based on that selection, it gives you results based on that. Well, that is what conditional logic does. Let's say you wanted to get people's age, okay? And all the people that are ages 18 to 21, if someone selects that age, then it's going to ask them additional questions or it's going to give them additional information. So you can build the form anytime that someone selects the ages 18 through 21, it is going to give them extra option and you have the options that you can be able to build and you can build a shopping cart with it. This is incredible. You can build a shopping cart with your form. You know, you can sell items. This is what I use when I want to build very simple, but yet professional uh, forms or shopping cart. This is what I use. It's simple to set up. And this all the payment um, integrations that you can be able to use. You have to check out. You have Stripe. You have PayPal. Um, you have different ones here. So if you're looking to build forms, whether you want to collect uh, people's information, you want to get application uh order forms, you know, any type of forms you can build it with this. They have the free version, which is, you know, uh, good to get you started. And then you have the pro version. Now, the pro version comes with everything that you need. And for only twenty eight dollars, trust me, that's not a huge investment to make because you can be able to uh, do so much. And the next one that I use, too, is the Balboa Joomla Gallery. You know, I love these guys, uh, the, the extensions that they're they created. They have three of them and all of them are fantastic. So the gallery is a great way if you want to present your images. If you have some photos or videos or anything that you want to show in a very professional manner, this is the way to go. And as you can see here from their demo, you can create so many different things here. You can uh, slide over, you can have 
the filters set up like this. You can have the pagination, you can have the load more set up. And how this work is when uh, you can you can display a certain number that people can see if they want more, they click on it, it shows some more. And you can just feel free to go there and just demo this extension here because it is going to save you so much time. Also, you can put videos in like iframes. And I love using the video iframe setup here because these can be our videos when someone clicks on it, it's going to pop up a video for them to watch. And you know, so you see just like this and you can heart, you can share, you can make it bigger, you can X off. So you can get your videos embedded from any source. You know, they have, you know, uh, embedded codes in there. You can put it and it works beautifully. Another great thing to have on your site too is AC Melon. Now they have a WordPress version and they have a Joomla version. Of course, we're talking about the Joomla version here. Uh, but this one here, if you're looking to build your newsletter, your opt-in list, your mailing list, right? You want people to subscribe so you can give them updates about upcoming events, upcoming promos and things like that. AC mailing is the best way to go for Joomla. It allows you to be able to build your list, unlimited number of lists. So most mailing programs, like, you know, you have to pay a monthly fee for it, right? And it's based on the amount of emails that you send out. You know, they charge you for that. Well, with this one, you don't have to worry about that. You can send unlimited number of emails. So if you have a list of 5,000, 50,000, now you have to work with your server to be able to see how many, how many emails your server allows you to send out every hour or, you know, things like that. But Minus that, you can be able to send out emails. You can automate the emails when you want to. You can send out one email every week, every day, every month. And uh, it works very, very easy, easy. And I love it. So you have the pro version and then you have the free version. But you can always start it for free uh, and just give it a shot here. I have a course that covers how to use the AC mailing, how to get your first campaign set up, you know, how to set your autoresponders, how to set your cron job. So all those are things that is good to know. And once you get those things set up, then you pretty much just, you know, you able to just let your business run itself. You don't have to worry about sending emails manually every day or every week. Um, it saves you a lot of time and you can actually grow your business through automation one of the biggest decisions that you have to make as a web designer when you're creating projects or creating websites is what page builder do you want to use to build your websites? Now, as I mentioned earlier, Joomla has quite a few and I've tried the different ones, but these are the two that I use the most. This one is the uh, Quicks page builder. I have an extensive course that covers every aspect of it. I really like it. It has a ranking feature there that lets you see how your keywords rank. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and so many things you can be able to do as a very simple, simple interface for you to use. So you want to definitely check Quicks out and they have a free version and they have a pro version. What I always tell people that if you want to try it out, give it a shot for free. But if you intend to use this on a professional level or to even build projects for yourself, I recommend that you get the pro version and it's not expensive at all. And as you can see from the price in here, the Quicks Pro is $31 for one website license, the agency 97, uh, the mini agency and the agency 174. So if you get the lifetime, it's still very affordable. So this is something that you're going to use on a regular basis. This is the, the one extension I can guarantee you that you will use on every website project you have a page builder. The other one that I love as well as the SP page builder. Uh, it's really incredible. It gives you a lot of features and functionalities. Again, you have 50 plus different add-ons. And as you can see here, they've done a, a phenomenal job and they've had to redesign things and start some things from over because they want to improve on it. So you can build things here really quickly and it gives you a lot of templates that you can be able to use as building blocks to work on yours. This or the different uh, add-ons that they have so feel free to go check SB Page Builder out. They have third party integrations with it, which means you can integrate those different apps there. And you can do multilingual in your native language. And for the price in here, you have the light version that has 14 add-ons and you have the pro version that has 56 plus. Now again, for the pricing for $39 for personal, 
you have 143 for agency and then you have 239 for a developer. So this is really, I was really affordable that you get access to a lot, everything that you need to do uh, to get your client site going or get your site going. Another key extension that I always install is the JCE editor. You have the free version and then you have the pro version. Now, the reason why I love this is that it gives you so much control over editing your content, as you can see here. By default, Joomla has the default editor, which is okay, Tiny MCE, which is okay. But if you want more, you definitely have to go with the JCE editor. They got a free and they got a pro. And you can kind of go through here to see um, the features that comes with it. But I definitely recommend that you install the JC editor. You're going to absolutely just love it. Another good extension to have is the, uh, the J sitemap. This allows you to create a sitemap um, of your website, which you can submit to Google. Now, sitemaps are really good because they let people and robots more so, they're able to find the content of your website. So you can generate it very easily and very simple. Uh, so that way, when you go to Google to submit it, then it can index all your pages, especially important pages. And you can also be able to use like the RSS feed, the video sitemap, uh, the geo and the H um, ref lang sitemap. This is something that I wouldn't say is relatively new, but it's something that Google started doing a few years ago. And also the AMP, this is for like your mobile to make sure that your sites are mobile um, ready and is going to index and your robot that in the uh, TXT and HC access editor. So if you want to submit your site map to search engines of all the content that you have, just the pages with the links on there, like you see right here, this is going to be this like a site map and it shows you all the content uh, that is going to be there. But this is going to generate a, a certain code for you that you give to Google or any other search engines and they going to put it there and they can be able to find you. So when people search for you and look for you, that helps a lot with your again, index your visibility on Google. So a site map is really great to have. And then finally here, I have a shopping cart J to store. You know, if you want to build a shopping cart to sell products online, something that's robust, something that's very, you know, modern, very clean and very easy to use, j to store is a really, really awesome option. This is one of their demo stores that was used to create um, the shop with it, the j to store. And like I said, it's really easy to manage. You can add your product. You know, this nice hover effect right here. You know, I've seen so many people that want to build, you know, e-commerce website and they have this idea that you got to spend tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands to build something magnificent. You know, not really. If you're looking to just get started and you want something that has really good professional quality that you can be able to manage, J2 Store gives you that. And you can go through the website to see some of the features that it has as a store owner. Um, you can be able to do so much. You can accept payments online. You can check out their different modules that they have. Uh, you can start off with the free but again, I always encourage you, if you want to do this for clients, if you want to do this on a, on a professional level, you need to go with the pro version because it gives you so much more uh, that you can be able to do with it. So that comes to the end of my list. Like I mentioned before, there's so many more things that I didn't mention uh, because these are the ones that I use the most for projects that I work on. Uh, I'd love to hear what are some of the extensions that you love to build your site with or what can't you go without on uh, your Joomla website?